Okay, so before we demonstrate it to you, let's show it to you. This is driven by Drive CX, the infotainment system, and the digital cockpit, the, dig the digital um, virtual cockpit, completely unified into one computer. It could be one operating system driving both. It could be two operating systems, driving, one driving each one of them. It's your choice. Any operating system is supported that I mentioned. And so why don't we uh, introduce, come on up, Justin. This is Justin, ladies and gentlemen. Hey, Justin. The head of our design studio. Um, he, uh, well, he's gonna show us some really amazing stuff. Okay, Justin, what are you gonna show us? Yeah, absolutely. So as you mentioned, this is our, our digital cockpit environment here and based on DriveCX, of course. And um, this is not just a demo here. This is, this is really a, a platform for integration for our, for our um, ecosystem partners to bring them together and layer over top NVIDIA technologies, mm -hmm. graphics, power, elements like that. So the first thing I want to talk about a bit is the infotainment system here. Uh, we have a wide range of capabilities. We've integrated in elements from and the so ecosystem. Just, I, I just want to make yeah. sure that, that, by the way, how's Describe that. Can, can, we change, can we up his audio a little bit? I don't know that, that Am you I guys... too quiet? Yeah, I think you're a little bit too quiet. Okay. So, so one of the things that Justin said that's really important is that, that um, uh, what you're looking at, the runtime, is a rendering engine. Just as there's a runtime for games we call mm. Unreal Engine, there's a runtime here for your digital cockpit. And that runtime is called Studio. That runtime has all kinds of advanced rendering technologies, whether it's dynamic lighting, high dynamic range, we're gonna show you some amazing technology related to material rendering. All of that technology is shrink wrapped into a way so that designers who are good at designing cars don't have to understand computer graphics technology and still access all of the amazing horsepower that's underneath. All of that is encapsulated into this design suite of software we call Design Studio. That's now, right. Justin, uh, develop, Justin and his team develops the tools, but they also advise and work with our partners to translate their vision of what their next generation infotainment system would look like, their vision for what a digital cockpit of the future looks like, into something that they can, of course, deploy. Okay? Go yeah, ahead, Justin. that's exactly right. And this really represents a, you know, a reference that we, that we build off of and integrate with customers. So. Um, as I mentioned, you know, elements like uh, media integration, uh, uh, text-to-speech, uh, voice control, uh, navigation, all of these areas are, are actually included inside. Now, this is a fully functioning, fully functioning infotainment system. That's right. right? That's so right. Let's, let's and, take a look and, at it. And, you know, under development, always, you know, mm -hmm. expanding and, and continuing to create. So, very simple screen here, uh, climate control. For the, for the vehicle, sort of out of the box, very simple display here. Again, we've got uh, uh, media integration, allows you to control the volume and play from FM or play from your um, uh, local music here. But we can also, for example, uh, decide to split the screen and place navigation on top and have media playing in the bottom. So you have full control over where you'd like to place various information. Of course, as displays get larger and they you know, drive more and more pixels, you're going to want to be able to control the entire now, layout. Now, this navigation system is completely done in 3D, right? And one of the things that's really cool about it, most, most uh, maps that we see is so congested with so much information um, that it, it distracts uh, from, from uh, the actual navigation itself. And so what we're, what we're actually doing here, what Justin has here, is a, a complete 3D geometry environment. However, the space right around the car is lit dynamically. That's right. And we so have, for uh, many people who, do, who uh, know about this technology, not only is it lit dynamically, but there's, there's ambient occlusion, there's global illumination, so that what looks like a Tron experience uh, is realized here. Yeah, absolutely. And, uh, when, when we've done this, we've not just created these incredible graphics. We've selected a, a, a city where there's beautiful buildings and things like that, but we're actually integrated with a partner named TCS where we're going out to their servers and doing live routing. So, for example, I can select maybe to go to uh, this location. It'll dynamically actually create the, uh, the route for you as expected. It's not just a graphics demo here. And we can go to full screen and really enjoy the beautiful graphics. Zoom in a bit. Oh, that is so smooth. Yeah. So 
of course, we're using a wide variety of technologies, like you mentioned, not only you know, traditional 3D models, but also advanced GPU-rendered vectors, um, ambient occlusion, as you mentioned. But all of this, again, is available via Drive Studio for the artist to make this map look like anything you might want. We've chosen a very specific motif here, but mm -hmm. people can change it to whatever they might Okay, like. show us a few more things. What do you have? Okay, yeah. Um, another one of interest is, uh, let's see, we can you know, maybe put the music in the bottom. Uh, we have uh, integrated in Android uh, automotive uh, projected mode here. So we can okay. see this is actually full Android, uh -huh. you know, certified in the car. Uh, so for example, we could have Google Maps located here. Oh, I think it's navigating someplace. So in a way, you're kind of seeing today's map versus what I just saw earlier. Sure, sure. Tomorrow's map. Yeah, gives you the options to do yeah. everything. So. Okay. Yeah, so that's the infotainment system. Okay. Um, one last thing I wanted to point out was uh, we, of course, uh, have support for a, a surround view camera for bringing all these together. And I think you know, we'll be talking more and more about this. And so, so. The, video, the video stream would come in, and we would, and I'll, I'll talk a little bit more about surround in just a moment. I think so. I yeah. think so. Okay. Yeah, absolutely. So, all right, check it leave out. Leave it on navigation there. The other part of a digital cockpit, of course, is the cluster. And we've, we've spoken a lot more about clusters in the past than we have about infotainment systems. It's definitely an area that we continue to invest in because it's the jewelry of the car. It's a place where we can use all of our graphics prowess. So what we're seeing here and up on the main screen here is um, really a vision of sort of that uh, integration of infotainment with cluster capabilities. So you can see there's navigation a rich 3D navigation, turn-by-turn uh, -turn experience with gauges that are, are uh, using physically-based rendering. So now, of course, Justin, this is your, your fantasy of, yes. of a digital cockpit. But the point is that, that the studio is a, is a creative platform that allows designers to realize their vision yes. of what a future digital cockpit, cockpit could do. Yeah. Now, here you're, you're showing examples of a cockpit that, a virtual cockpit that has geometry in it, rich yes. geometry. Um, a lot of very sophisticated rendering effects so that the subtlety of the materials come out, mm -hmm. the subtlety of the glass, the subtlety of lighting comes out, mm -hmm. um, and it's all completely dynamic, it's all completely in real time. Yes. Uh, why don't you show us a few of the features? Well, um, as you see that's being driven up on the, on the screen from somebody else here is uh, you can see that uh, the dynamic lighting is actually changing uh, with uh, shadows being cast, true cube map shadows being placed across the gauges with the lighting moving at the same time, integrating in the navigation.